Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn what is a word template document and you will also learn how to create a word template with an example. If you are using word to create letterheads, invoices and bills, then you should consider using word templates. There are many advantages of using a word template. Templates are files that have a basic structure, contents and settings that help you quick start your work without having to create everything from scratch. Whenever you use a template file, make some changes and save the template, it saves your work into a new file. This way the template file preserves its basic structure and remains unaffected. So this enables you to use the template again and again for your work as many times as you want. Now let's see an example. Here is an automated invoice format which you might want to use once or many times. In this case, if you want to use it again and again, you might make a copy of this file and reuse. But the problem with this method is that you might get messed up if you don't clear or alter the old data. So instead of working in a copy of an existing file, it's always better to create a template and use. So now this is a simple tax invoice format with some drop downs like this and some placeholder text like these ones highlighted and uh, it has also got some automated formulas. Uh, so suppose if you want to use this template again and again it's a better option to save this as a template and reuse. Now let's see how to save this as a template. To save this as a template you can go to the file and click on save as and choose the location where you would like to save and then uh, you can you know, uh, type a file name, the file name can be anything now say for example it can be like that and then for the save as type choose word template this automatically saves the file in a default location okay uh, you don't have to change this location suppose if you want you may uh, change the location but I don't suggest so let it be saved in the default location now click on the save button and click on ok so once this template is saved how would we reuse how to reuse to use the template what you can do is you can go to the file menu click on the new button there you can see two options featured and personal so you should click on personal so whatever template you had created will be uh, will be shown here so you can click on the template now the template is open now let us make some changes say choose some data here I'll fill some dummy contents here something and something something like that so for the date I have the drop down like that So uh, for the amount, let, uh, amount can be filled later. I'll just uh, you know, put some dummy data here. So 
okay let me turn on the view grid lines because i think there is a hidden table here so let us say one two so i'll add some three items in the description let me say item one Okay, now um, let me enter some data here. Um, I'll enter the rate. Say this some rate. Then okay. Now I have created a formula here so that this calculation happens automatically. All you need to do is you need to select everything and then press the F9 key sorry I will have to select this F9 key see this calculates gets calculated automatically now even the total happens even the tax calculation happens automatically let me add some forwarding charges as well and then recalculate it again like that now select everything again control a now just uh, this a little bit this side so that you will know what's happening and F9. Sorry, I'll have to select this again. Function and F9. See, okay, I think it's calculated. Yes, it's calculated. So, this is an automated invoice. So, here most of the things are automated and you don't have to do manually. So in my next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this automated tax invoice. Okay, so what uh, formulas I have created, how I have placed these kind of drop downs, etc, etc. So all these things uh, and what formulas I have applied here, everything. So don't forget to watch my next video. okay now uh, everything done so we need to i think we need to write this uh, in words so the total is 192 okay one and We don't need these zeros. I just delete them all. Okay. So you don't have to worry. So the uh, since we have the template, we can reuse it again and again. So I'll just save this and show you what happens. So when we save this, when we save this, okay. I'll say desktop. Okay. So this is tax invoice one. I'll just save this okay so i'll close this let us open the template once again i'll go to the personal yeah now you can see that the template file is unsaved so a copy of the template is created and uh, whatever things you we have added whatever text and other contents we have added as is stored in a new file so this is the advantage of using the template okay so i hope you like this tutorial so uh, please don't forget to subscribe like and share my information so in my upcoming video i'll be showing you how to create this uh, automated tax invoice 
from scratch so don't forget to uh, watch my upcoming video thanks for watching